In an unexpected twist that has captured international attention, a Chinese investment group has taken drastic measures to recover a multi-million dollar debt owed by Nigeria. In a move that has sparked widespread debate, the investors have seized two Nigerian government-owned guest houses in Liverpool, United Kingdom, and are now planning to sell them on eBay. Yes, you read that right. Nigeria's properties could soon be listed alongside household items and electronics on one of the world's largest online marketplaces. But how did we get here, and what does this say about the growing tensions between Nigeria and its foreign investors? The story begins with a legal battle that has been simmering for years. In June 2024, the Chinese investment group Shangsheng Fuching Industrial Investment Limited took control of two residential properties tied to the Nigerian government in Liverpool. The properties, located at 15 Aperth Hall Road and Beach Lodge, 49 Calderstones Road, were seized as part of a court-authorized effort to recover $70 million in arbitration awards that Nigeria had failed to pay. This move, authorized by a British court ruling in December 2021, represents one of the most aggressive attempts by a foreign company to reclaim debts from an African nation. But why are these properties being put up for sale on eBay? According to sources close to the situation, Zhongsheng has finalized plans to list the properties online in a bid to expedite the sale and recover the outstanding debt. The company is reportedly asking for up to $2.2 million for the two properties, a fraction of the $70 million owed, but a symbolic gesture of their determination to recover what they are owed. The origins of this conflict can be traced back to a 2001 trade treaty between Nigeria and China. Under this agreement, Zhongsheng was granted rights to develop a free trade zone in Ogun State, Nigeria. However, the deal soured when, in 2016, the Nigerian state government abruptly rescinded Zhongsheng's rights, allegedly without following due process. The company claims that this action violated the trade agreement and that Nigerian federal agencies were used to intimidate and forcibly remove their executives from the country. In response, Zhongsheng brought Nigeria before a UK arbitration panel in 2018, seeking compensation for the breach of contract. The arbitration tribunal ruled in favor of the Chinese company, awarding them $55,675,000 plus interest and legal costs, bringing the total owed to $70 million. Despite the ruling, Nigeria failed to comply with the payment, leading Zhongsheng to pursue the seizure of Nigerian assets abroad, including the Liverpool properties. This latest development is not an isolated incident. Just last week, the same Chinese company secured a court judgment in France, authorizing the seizure of three Nigerian presidential jets, a Dassault Falcon 7X, a Boeing 737, and an Airbus 330. These aircraft, which were undergoing maintenance in France, have now been grounded as part of Shanshan's broader campaign to recover its arbitration award. The Nigerian government launched an urgent legal and diplomatic counter-offensive after a French court authorized the seizure of three jets from Nigeria's presidential air fleet. The jets, symbols of Nigeria's sovereignty and prestige, are now at the center of an international legal battle, adding further tension to an already strained relationship between Nigeria and its foreign investors. The court's decision has prohibited Nigeria from moving or selling these jets until a $74.5 million debt owed to John Chan is settled. The seizure of both the jets and the Liverpool properties has reignited discussions about Nigeria's international obligations and the risks associated with foreign investment. Critics argue that Nigeria's failure to honor its agreements is damaging its reputation on the global stage and could deter future investment. Meanwhile, others view Zhang Cheng's actions as overly aggressive, questioning the ethics of seizing state-owned assets, especially those as symbolically significant as presidential jets and guest houses. As Nigeria grapples with the fallout from these seizures, the broader implications are becoming clear. 
The country's handling of foreign investments and international contracts is under intense scrutiny, and the need for more transparent and accountable governance has never been more apparent. The situation also highlights the growing power of international arbitration and the willingness of foreign companies to take drastic measures to enforce their rights. For now, the world watches as Nigeria navigates this complex web of legal and diplomatic challenges. Will the guest houses in Liverpool really end up on eBay? And if so, what message will that send about Nigeria's standing in the global community? Stay tuned as we continue to follow this developing story, exploring the broader consequences for Nigeria's international relations and the potential ripple effects across Africa and beyond. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.